Okay, here we go. Take two. Art Williams, your friend of mine, the Wondering South Cerro, with another live Barranquilla report from International Wondering South Cerro headquarters in beautiful Barranquilla, Colombia. And what I thought that I would do tonight <clears throat> is, uh, I hope I don't get tripped up in technology, but I wanted to give you a little, uh, what would you say, a review of a trip that I just made to this store right here, Exito. This is one of the major, um, what do they call them, uh, big box well, I wouldn't call it a big box. It's more like a, their version of Target in uh, Byron Kia here. I, this is a part of town. Um, this particular part of town is known as San Francisco. There's a, if right to the left of this church here, there's, I mean, this is a store. There's a church, Catholic church called San Francisco. All of my heart in San Francisco. In this case, it would be Seoul, I guess. But um, anyway, I had to go do, do some shopping tonight, and I thought I'd just come down here. Now, what's really interesting is that um, it was really interesting what you see here. Now, of course, well, I was just there in the nighttime, but this street right here, this is Calle 38. The uh, Calles in uh, Colombia run, or in, in Barranquilla anyway, generally run north-south. Uh, north and I'm going to put another video on this uh, post. I'm going to put this, wrap it up nice and pretty and put it on uh, my Market Hive, Why Retire in Columbia blog. But what was interesting was, is when I got out of the taxi, the taxi brought me from this way and it was heading to your left as you look at the screen here. And so this is like a little corner cafe and they had some incredibly cool, uh, groovy uh, salsa music. And then they also played some Vallenato. So right next door to it, there was what I would call a pastry shop, but they had a cooler there too, and you can buy drinks and uh, <clears throat> yogurt and stuff. But uh, so I bought my uh, little snack there, and then I just came over here and uh, hung out, and uh, there was a cat in there that I petted, and there were people just sitting there minding their own business, and the music was just so cool. And nobody was dancing, but that's one of the peculiar things about Columbia is you, you hear all this great music, but you don't see people dancing. It's really weird. Anyway, so I uh, then I finished my snack, and then I came across. See, that's the direction I came from. There's the church, and then uh, I walked over here into this store, and then I did my shopping, and I'm looking at the bill <clears throat> right here, and it was sixty-four thousand pesos and two hundred and fifty-seven. Um, I well pesos, I guess sixty-four thousand though, and at today's exchange rate, that's about. $21.50. And uh, <clears throat> trying to, let me see if I can give you an idea of what I got. I, I got a bunch of, I, it was three plastic bags of food. Um, got a uh, bunch of vegetables. Let's see, I got uh, some bananas. Um, what else? I got a humongous cantaloupe. I got um, some paper towels. I don't, this is in Spanish, so I don't know what it was. I got some raisins. I got uh, a double Snickers. I got um, uh, a big thing of uh, powdered soup. I got a big uh, tin, uh, I think it was a 400 gram tin of Milo, which is kind of like um, Ovaltine. I, I see someplace in here, there was some pork and beans that I bought. Uh, I got a, a bag of oatmeal. I'm looking... Of course, I'm not wearing my glasses, so I can't see my shelf in the little studio that I live in here. But anyway, it was three bags. And, you know, I don't believe that there's very many times you can go to any store in the U.S. nowadays and get three bags of food. <laughs> so it was really cool. And the other thing that interested me, too, and I'll just pass this along to you in case you're uh, contemplating coming down to Columbia. Generally speaking, now I'm sure there are some places that are dangerous, but generally speaking, Colombians are are very easy to they're, they're they're friendly and they're easy to deal with i mean it's not like the philippines where you you gotta always keep your hand on your your pocket and uh just where there's just so much scrounge and filth and every every of course it's not all that way but a lot of it is i mean you just always have to you're always worried about stuff breaking down now what you see right here in this picture like these little taxis this is the typical taxi and they they they, they have hyundais like this and I think there's some Chinese brands, but that's the typical car. You don't see big cars here. You don't see Camaros. Uh, <clears throat> I, I don't. Maybe I saw one Camaro. I've seen two or three uh, hot Mustangs, but obviously they're owned by somebody who's got money. And uh, but uh, this is the typical uh, street here, you know. 
And as a matter of fact, I think even down there on the other side of the uh, that church, I think that's the place where I go. They have a place here called Servi and Prega, which is uh, sort of like a, a, a combination Western Union and um, FedEx. So you can go there to send money to people, and you can also go there to ship stuff anywhere in um, the well, actually anywhere. It's a international firm, and these are your typical buses that you see here. They have different sizes, and as I understand it, because uh, <clears throat> I notice buses uh, of the same color will have the same design, and typically they're usually the same size too, and they'll have a name on it. Now have they'll have a sign up front that tells you where it goes. But what I think is happening is that uh, different bus operators have different licenses for certain routes. <clears throat> it's not like one company has the license for the whole city. Now, when I was there just now, um, let me see here. Yeah, I'm spinning around here. This is one of your typical, um, uh, what you would call a corner drugstore. Now, what's different about drugstores in most countries, all the countries I've ever been in, apart from the U.S., is we're so fucking regulated <clears throat> that, that that you almost need a, a, a you know a doctor's prescription to buy uh, aspirin. But in um, I know in Philippines and in UAE and Dubai, where I was before I came here, and also here in Colombia, uh, now I very seldom, I mean, extremely rarely take, I mean, cough syrup's the most powerful thing that I ever take, and that may be once a year. But you can buy prescription drugs here, uh, in, just here, with, without, a, without a prescription from a doctor, whereas in the U.S. you would have to do that. Uh, I'll also mention, if you look right here, now this very probably is an apartment building. Matter of fact, I was right over there, and I was looking over there, and I think that I think I noticed. Now this is an apartment building right here. You can see that. Uh, <clears throat> what else is interesting here? This is uh, somebody told me that at one time back in the old days, before Barranquilla started moving, actually they're moving west, city development. That this was one of the main streets in town, Calle 38. This would be, uh, I think, where I live is Car uh, Carrera 41. So this would be, I'm going to guess, maybe, I don't know, this street going this way, maybe 50. I'm not sure. I could be wrong on that. But anyway, and this is a park. Now, one thing they do not have here, at least I have not seen it in Barranquilla, is they don't have really nice parks. Now, the parks are maybe nice if you're looking for a place where your dog can take a poop or a leak or something. But... Uh, as far as, uh, li they're, they're nothing like, say, the parks in Korea. Now, Korea's got some really pretty parks. Uh, one thing you might notice here, I don't know if you can tell, but <clears throat> where that bus is coming from, it's actually sort of going uphill. Uh, Barranquilla is really, a, uh, certain parts of it are very hilly. But that is, uh, that is Exito, okay? And if you're ever here, it's uh, certainly a place where you can feel confident in shopping. I found the, people, the staff in most of these stores to be very nice, okay? What else could I tell you? Let me see. Let me think. Oh, one thing I was going to mention, uh, almost without exception, the taxi drivers here are very nice, too. I say very nice. I mean, they're, they're not surly like like uh, some taxi drivers are. And they're not, uh, you know, they're not wearing, uh, you know, fancy underwear and, and, a, and a sweatshirt, you know, like some of the taxi drivers might in the Philippines or some other places. Of course, now in Korea, if you ever go to Korea, the taxi drivers over there, I mean, to me, they all look like they're retired military. <laughs> they're all, they, you know, they'll wear, be wearing crew, uh, crew cuts, and a lot of times they'll be wearing a jacket with the IZOD logo on it. Of course, over there, they go in a lot for that fake name brand stuff. But the taxis in, the, in South Korea are very uh, sophisticated, and, and I'm, I'm, I'm not talking these little... Uh, fake pocket rockets either. The taxis in Korea, they're like uh, Cressidas and uh, I mean nice, uh, nice Toyotas and Hyundai's. That they're very, they they really like their Hyundai cars over there. And uh, <clears throat> also in uh, in Dubai, the taxis are very, uh, uh, they're very nice. And uh, even though Dubai is expensive compared to some other areas, it's still uh, in many ways it's much cheaper than the U.S. Anyway. That's all I had to say. I hope you enjoy that, and also I uh, hope you'll uh, enjoy the video that I'm going to be putting on, on my Market Hive post. All right? Bye.